Ladies and gentlemen, what's up everyone? It's Jonathan Mathis, the sports judge. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. It is Monday. I know Mondays are rough for a lot of people, but if you're not a Mavericks fan, be thankful that you're not a Mavericks fan because it's it's harder for them this morning with their team falling 0-3 in the series. And now they have been pushed to the brink of elimination. Uh, they are now staring. They are now staring at the jaws of defeat. Um, they are now seeing their season slowly come to an end. Luca is a superstar in this league. We talk about it all the time. How great of a player he is, you know, and he is clearly one of the top guards in this league. He plays at an elite level. He's a workhorse, you know, uh, he brings that same energy, that same level of energy, you know, um, he just doesn't have enough around him. He needs another superstar if he's going to win an NBA championship. He needs to play alongside another dynamic star. You know, um, it's tough to beat a very good Warriors team particularly when it's one on five. And that's what it looked like last night. It's one on five. Uh, Luca is putting up monster numbers, but everyone else around him shows up when they want to show up. They don't always show up on time. And it's been, you know, inconsistent play from his supporting cast. Now, the Warriors, on the other hand, everything was clicking for them last night. This is an elite-level team with a bevy of guys who can shoot, who can knock down the outside shot. You know, um, they're just the team to beat, suddenly. And now it looks like they're going to complete the sweep of the Mavericks. They're going to have plenty of time to get some rest. They're going to be my favorites to win it all again this year. Um, just look at the makeup of the team. Steph Curry's doing Steph Curry things. He, you know, had another 30-plus point performance last night. Then Andrew Wiggins, you know, uh, showed up, had a big game, finished the game with 27 points. And, you know, this is the Andrew Wiggins that we didn't see in Minnesota. This is the Andrew Wiggins who everyone thought so highly of. Um... Well, he's answering the call now. I think, you know, the Warriors was a great fit for him. It's working out for him in the Bay Area. And he has put he put on the show last night. He put on the show. He was tremendous. But I go back to game two for the Mavericks. I think the Mavericks needed to win game two. I think that was the pivot point of the series. Um, you know, that was their chance to take control of this series. You know, they would have gained some momentum. They would have been able to build on uh, from that. And unfortunately, they weren't able to pull things out um, in what was a pivotal game two. Then they came home with their backs against the wall down 0-2, looking to make it 2-1. Um, and as you saw last night, the Warriors took care of business. Uh, you know, they got a victory on the road. And now the Mavericks are in tr trouble. But the Warriors, and I know this is, this was a few years ago, but the Warriors blew a 3-1 lead in the past. Um, and the Mavericks have come back from 2-0 in the previous series. But that's a lot different. No team has ever come back from an 0-3 deficit um, in these conference finals. Um, I just don't see it happening. I don't think it will happen. I think the Warriors will put them away in game four. I think Curry will have another monster performance, as he usually does. Uh, Draymond Green has been the anchor on, on defense. You still have Klay Thompson out there, uh, you know, making quite a splash. Then you have Jordan Poole. We talked about his emergence and what, and what he has meant to this team as well. So, you know... Steph Curry has so many weapons around him. And, you know, I, I think last night was the 
exclamation point, I think last night ended um, their season. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing to see the emergence of Wiggins. First a bus, uh, then an overpaid role player, and now he's in the middle of a perfect situation with a chance to win an NBA championship. Um, you know, it, it's it's amazing. Um, this team is getting a lot of attention, you know, rightfully so. Um, Golden State is back to being a top contending team in the West. Um, it's scary. You know, they have put together one of the best playoff runs. Um, and Wiggins particularly has put together one of his best playoff series of his career. Um, none was bigger than last night. You know, you saw the dunk. Um, that was just amazing. And, you know, I think everyone embraced their role on this team. Uh, everyone knows what's expected of them. Um, you know, then the task of having, for Andrew Wiggins, the task of having to guard someone as good as Luka uh, for large stretches of the game. Uh, this this guy is playing his best basketball, Luka. Uh, but, I mean, what more can he do? He's doing everything he possibly can to drag this team, you know, uh, through this series. I think Luca's a little tired from the last series. I, I think he's a little beat up. You know, he's 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 exhausted. You know, but uh, it, it's pretty much over for the Mavericks. I think their season's coming to an end. I think, and, and people are calling me crazy for this because the Suns didn't advance to the next round. But I think the Suns and the Warriors would have been the blockbuster matchup. And that was the matchup that I was anxious to see. I think it, I think this would have been a longer series. I think the series would have extended to seven games. I think it would have made for more competitive basketball. There would have been some close games, some thrilling finish finishes, some hard fought battles. You know, there would have been some mixed matches. Uh, there, there would have been plenty of excitement in that series uh, had those two teams met. And I, I think that's what everyone was hoping for. Of course, it didn't work out that way. The Mavericks stunned the world when they beat a Suns team that looked lifeless and uh, listless in that horrible game seven. Um, you know, Chris Paul, of course, took a beating for it, was uh, under a lot of criticism and heavily scrutinized for his no-show in that game. Uh, but the Mavericks, they advanced to the next round. Now they met a tough opponent. And, you know, the Warriors, as we know, they're battle-tested. Um, you know, they're ready to uh, make another run for an NBA championship. They're poised. Um, you know, they they also have more experience. They've been there before. Uh, Curry has played in... How many of these Western Conference Finals games? I mean, this is like only his, what, 10,000 game in the Western Conference Finals? I know that's an exaggerated number, but you guys get get my point. You you, you know where I'm going with that. Uh, but I think the Warriors close it out. I don't see the Mavericks winning a game in this series. I did say it was going to end in five. I was kind enough to say it would be a gentleman's sweep. I don't feel that way anymore. I think the Warriors are just too powerful. I think the Warriors have too much offensive firepower. Power. Luka is not enough for the Dallas Mavericks. Um, so I think this series wraps up in game four. I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good day. Take care, everyone. Peace out.